He was murdered. It looks like it was done by a sniper. He was shot by a machine gun about 15 years ago. You must protect me, not just must. This is your job. There's a rumor that Potap ordered it. I don't have time to lie down with a rifle on a cold roof. I can get hemorrhoids. I didn't dream of this job. I thought I would graduate from the university and go to the capital for work. I really hope other editors will evaluate my work differently. I quit. Yes, I decided to stay and go all the way. I don't understand it. Did you frame your bodyguard for the shooting? I always strike first. Life taught me that. Want to know more? No. Not yet. Maybe it was some kind of territorial gang war. These three have been killed in the last 24 hours. So you're not leaving, you're staying. Yes, I decided to stay and see this through to the end. Maybe this is the text of <laughs> my life. Someone kills, then they photograph the victims. And after a short time, your story goes public. You are dealing with murderers, Anya. Do you understand what this means? Farah, tell me. Who's next? Isn't it just strange? We are protecting criminals from criminals. We used to arrest them, but now we protect them. We need you to check out who he was in contact with during that time. Our information cannot be disclosed to anyone. Fifteen years later, someone is murdering everyone who is in that group. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? Let's go! Phase 42 Part 12 Do you want it to meet with us? Yes. You won't kill me? Is that your only question? No. Why are you going around killing everyone? Because the police can't deal with crime. All these mafia people who rose up in the 90s went unpunished. We want to get rid of them, not only from this city, but from the whole country. There aren't many of us left, but everyone has their own reasons and the same goal. You want revenge? A person close to us was killed not so long ago. I was a police officer and I couldn't do anything about it. Those groups were protected by powerful people from the ex-mafia, which is still happening today. You mean you're telling me that you killed them? Yes, everyone, including their bosses. Now I get it. No, you don't. They all should be punished. But the legal methods don't work. The police catch them, but the next day they let them go free. They laugh in your face. Laws aren't written for us because somebody owns something or someone. Their death is the only solution. Yeah, our methods are cruel, but if we don't protect our citizens, who will do it? But why in our city? To avenge one of ours. I understood that the profile works. It's clear. Four bodies in just a couple of days. Uh, and not a single evidence. 
No. It never happens, Paul. Somewhere, they must have left something. So, tell me, did you install the surveillance? Or are you waiting till they send a bullet in Anya's forehead? I did everything. Surveillance is in place. At the slightest suspicion, our staff will intervene. Uh, this is Anya again. She's instigating these robbing hoods, and they're just playing with her. She believes everything. They already called me from our head office. What kind of massacre do we have in front of us? Explanations are required. What the hell is going on in our city? That is something I want to know. We are working on it. Don't worry. You are not doing your job well, Paul Damien. How many more bodies do we have to count before you can catch them? Yeah. May I come in? What's going on? Yesterday, I was able to hack into Anya's email, so we could have full access to her inbox. So now we know every time she gets a new email from these informants, they create new email accounts, send them through fake IPs, and then delete them. And? Uh, today she received a, an email with data on Potep's murder. What's in it for us? Uh, after receiving the email, Anya replied to them. Was the mail sent or not read? No, they read it, but, but they didn't answer. What was in the email? Uh, she said she wanted to meet with them. Yeah. This is no longer a joke. That's it. The game is over. You must stop her, Paul. She is uh, just crazy. She's out of control. Stop her? Yeah. Well, she is your favorite, isn't she? You wanted to have a journalist on our side. It is not time for jokes, Paul. Come on. Anya doesn't realize what she just got into. And no more articles about the murders. We must stop her right now. Quick, Paul. Another man of the criminal world, Potap, was found dead in the arena. The irony of fate. He was actually killed in front of his bodyguards. They were unable to protect their boss from the fatal bullet that flew out of his smoking gun barrel, eventually leading to his death. Smoking gun, isn't that too much? I think it's wonderful. You're lying. Go to the editor. Investigator, Paul Demian, prosecutor's office. To the printing house. Special issue for publishing. One second. Mr. Lenski, we don't want any special news anymore. Understand? Don't you think it's exaggerated? We know the loss. You better have a warrant this time. Do you even know what's going on in the city? People are being murdered in cold blood. And why do they care? They're just criminals. Do you really think it won't affect you? Me? What if tomorrow they come to kill you, Mr. Lenski? What then? Will you call us for protection? We have no right to discriminate. Anyone can be a victim, any time. So you are playing with fire, Mr. Lenski. Oh my god. It feels like my eyes are about to pop out. We're almost finished. How many are left? Okay, uh, another nine security cameras. If we don't find anything, We'll expand our search radius. There is no other option. It's crazy. I'll go get some coffee. You want one? Yes, please. Okay. Wait, huh? I found it. The recording of a camera near the park. The night of Solovyov's murder. So what? Well, what is a delivery man doing in the middle of the park at midnight? It coincides with the time of Solovyov's murder. You are right. What was the band doing there? Let me see it again. That's what I wanted to tell you right now. Yes, Paul. You need to be more proactive. I'm in the office. Everything is fine. What Excuse happened? Excuse me. Wait, Paul, what's going on? Hello? Anya. What? Where were you? I'll tell you later. Come on, tell me. I'll tell you later. Look who's here. 
So, dear friends, let's agree on something. All your stories have to pass through me first. And only after my approval can you publish them, got it? Do you want to control me? I do. And I will! Stop making those murderers good. <sighs> yes, Andrew. Great. Can you leave it at my office? I'll be there shortly. Do we understand each other? Now what? Mm, I don't know. Zine. I warned you, honey. <clears throat> Yes, it's one of our vans. First, all of our vehicles are equipped with a GPS device. We always track the route. And secondly, the deadline for all our vans to park is 7 p.m. We are very strict on this. Can you then explain how it is possible that a van with your logo was in your garage and at the same time driving around the city? Hmm. I don't know, let me check. Please do it. You know, we recently, hmm, sold a decommissioned van to a private owner. He may have been mistaken and left our logo on the car. Do you have his information? Nah. Yes, I'll make a call. Call and ask now. Right away. Title. Interview with a killer. For our readers, I think it will be a kind of revelation. No, Anya. You heard what Paul just said. I don't want any trouble with them. Special issue and two additional ones at least. Oh. If you don't publish this article, I will go right now to another publisher. Got it? Wait, Anya. You said the title was... Interview with a Killer? Mm-hmm. Well, I like it. Mm. Shall we risk it? Anya, I've always believed in you. Mm. You are an excellent journalist. You are the best there is. Really? I remember you saying something else. Anya, I really didn't mean it. I'm asking you to think about it. I mm -hmm. would even raise your salary. Mm. If you agree on that, maybe we'll start working on the article. If it's okay with you. Mr. Lenski, can I go back to work now, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. But think about what I just said. Great team, great support for me. Think about it, Sueva. job. I think that's it for the city. Go to St. Petersburg. We'll get in touch in two weeks. Only Irina's left. Don't touch Irina. She killed Veronin. We cannot allow her to go unpunished. I have other plans for her. I understand. But Feder and I decided to get rid of Arena, and we will. Are you with us, Colonel? What killer? I don't know. I don't know anything. What's going on? I don't rent cars. Everything is legal. Who did you rent the van to? To a man. 
But I don't remember. Hey! I have the documents here in my portfolio. Wait, wait just a minute. It oh. has to be here. Did you talk to Annie about I'm this right whole here, thing? Right here. There it is. Yeah, I did. With her and with Lenski. You did bad, Paul. You need to read this. Interview with a killer. You know, I've been doing crime in the news for a long time, but I've never been able to talk to this kind of killer before. They are convinced of their rightness and even some noble mission. Are you really justifying these people? It's hard to say. On one hand, there's the law, but on the other, these people have quite good reasons to do what they do. So my opinion is biased, especially that. Yeah. What does Paul Damien think of this man? The person you write about is a hero. I won't answer that question. Officer Paul Damien? Any comments on the article, Interview with a Killer? What do you think about this? You put on a show, Anya. I warned you. Hello? Who? You? Kotov, are you alive? Yes. We have news? Yes, I'm on my way right now. Yes. I understand. We have to lose the cops right now. Let's go. Interview with a killer. Fowler. You put on a show on ya. I warned you. Officer Paul Damien, Officer Paul Damien, would you press charges against her? Do you have any comment, officer? No comment. Officer Paul Damien, Officer Paul Damien. As you can see, things were not as expected. We will keep you. And this is on every channel, idiot. You asked me to stop her. So I did. Thank you for the advertising. It can't be so. You are in camera sight, Paul. And if there was no other way? Have an explanatory talk with Anya and just let her go, please. Boss, I just arrested her. Let her stay inside and think a little. Did you hear me? Just let her go. I don't want to be at a briefing to be questioned about this. There are four bodies. There are four dead bodies, Paul. That's all. Go now.
Hello? Did you lose Irina? How'd it happen? Look for her. Good job. Look, what your Robin Hoods did. This is in Rostov. This is in Novosibirsk. This is Moscow. And here, take a look. Who are these people? Bandits from the Tolmak Mafia group. They operate in the 90s. And should I feel sorry for them? I thought you were dead, Kotov. We all thought so. I'm alive, as you can see. It doesn't matter. It looks like it's just the two of us now. What would you do? Negotiate? Are you going to kill me? You want me to? Do it fast. Anya, your Robin Hoods are murderers. Do you understand? They are murderers. Why do you have to write articles like this? Now someone else got killed because there's already too much evil and injustice around. Am I right or am I right? Huh? You get it? I get it. Take them off, please. Is there anything you kept out of the article? Yeah. One of them was older and was a police officer. Okay, what else? That's all. Once you wanted to have sex with me. Your death is not in my plans. Do you want my business? Do you think it's about money? I've punished everyone who betrayed me. I need my men in this city. And those vigilantes won't hurt me? That's why I need you. Oh. 
I'm telling you again, the power of attorney is on our side, got it? Yep. We're gathering a lot of information. Right. Okay, 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 do it. Paul, we have a problem. What? What happened? The passport used to rent the van belongs to someone who has already died. He died a year ago. Yes, that was expected. I Wait, just, just I... let me think. For a moment. Passport, power of attorney, passport, passport. Listen, Andrew, go to the notary who issued a power of attorney for the van. He must have a photocopy of the passport of the deceased. Mm, he should have it. What good will that do? The notary had to verify the photo from the passport with the identity of the person who rented the van. That's how we get them, okay? Now I understand. A different photo was pasted into the real passport. This is where they screwed up. <laughs> you got it. I didn't like the last time that we talked with the colonel. Before, everything was clear. What happened? He doesn't want to kill Arena. But why? Why? He didn't say. I don't like it. We have known him for years. Maybe there are reasons. What reasons? She's one of them. I just got an email. From the Colonel. You shouldn't worry, Dad. It's the plan for Irene. I got this from Wesley's water? notary. We need to search the most wanted list. Look at the information. Wait. Anya said one of the killers. He was older. And he was a police officer. Look for him. I will put an APB in all stations. Surely someone knows about it, am I right? Are you still here? I'm going. Many people knew him as the mob boss, considered the most dangerous person in the city. Even the officers themselves were afraid of him. Hey, his empire continued to Got grow, something to drink? and, uh... What? Hey, are you okay? I want a drink. I'm leaving. Are you sure about this? Paul won't let you leave the city. I'm not asking for his permission. I made a big mistake. I can't write those articles. They are killers, Yimia. No matter what words you use. You can't justify them. Did Paul have something to do with it? When you came back from his office, you were all quiet and crying. I don't know what to do, Z. Keep going. What about your own investigation? What if they do other stuff besides killing people? Who gets the business of the dead ones? Tell me. Have you ever thought about that? No. You see? Can you help me figure it out? Of course. What do you have on this case? This is good. Kapustin. From Novosibirsk, nicknamed Kappa. 
Who is this? He's the beginning of our case. Tolmec's people were killed with these weapons. So I thought, whoever did this must be someone very rich or sponsored. These weapons are expensive. Yes, I see. Paul, I found it. This is Kudriash, S-Cop, older. Seven years ago, his wife was killed. Before that, she was brutally abused. Apparently, this happened because of the conflict between Kudriash and the local mafia. It was never found out who exactly did it, but after that, Kudriash retired. After that, nine people were killed in six months. All of them are Tolmax Mafia's people. He is working hard. I told you, there is someone behind him. Where does our retired officer get so much money? Good question. Hello? Hello, Paul. I was just attacked by two armed men. Yes, I'm in Trotsky Park, near the fountain. I'll be waiting for you. Hurry, please, hurry up. They attacked Irina. They appear to be our killers. Let's go. Hello. I did it. It's done. the business of this Rostov Mafia boss. Uh-huh, I see. Cos, hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, one company got all the business. It's called RBC. Ross Business Company, RBC. Kapustin owned it. He was murdered in Novosibirsk. It belongs to her now. Mm-hmm. That means something. Let's keep looking. Okay. Cos, are you there? Uh, I need one more request, please. Something's wrong. Fedor, this looks like a trap. Where's Irina? We have to go now. Freeze! Freeze, I said, freeze! Freeze now! Better go look back.
Are you okay? Give me your yeah, hand. I'm fine. They stole the car. They hit me and left. Did they take the car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine. It wasn't serious. This is Paul. Listen, a police car was stolen by two men. One of them is injured. They report to the hospital. What is the license plate? It's Charlie 767 Oscar Metro. It's Charlie 767 Oscar Metro. Son, we need to go to the hospital. Do we do? Oh my god. What should I do? Fetter? 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 So the business of all those killed from Tolmec's group belongs to the Rust Business Company now, and the owner's name is Kotov. Don't you find it strange that there's not a single photo of him in the internet? No, it's not. For two possible reasons. His real name is not Kotov, or his photos are carefully deleted from the internet. That means this Kotov is our client. Most likely. Mm? <laughs> done is done, okay? We must stop Kudriash. Can you hear me? Look at me. Yes. Tell me, are you okay? Yes. Good. Let's think. Where is Irina? She wasn't in the park. She evaded surveillance. What do you think? She... She... She was the one who led us to the killers. I think someone warned her about the assassination attempts on her. And she decided that she would get rid of them. It was bad luck for Kudriash and Fedor. They just didn't know a thing. There must be a third one. So... Who supplied them both with weapons? Yes. Listen, Paul, Senior and I have something. All of the business of the murdered bosses have gone to the RBC, Russ Business Company. The owner is a Kotov Roman. Kotov was the second in command of Tolmax Mafia Group, but he's dead. Okay, I understand. Thank you, I see. Thank you. I know who the third one is. Take Irina to the prosecutor's office immediately. Are you deaf? Go, Andrew. Yes, sir.
It's clean, boss. You two wait outside. What's wrong? Fetter is dead. How did it happen? Someone set a trap for us. Darn. Leave the city. Here is the money. Enough for the time being. You have to lay low for a while. Thank you. Thank you. We known each other for three years? About. I love my son, Fetter. He grew up in my arms. And now he's gone. I used to read him fairy tales. We had a bond. We have the same blood, he's my only son. Lovely words. Do you have family, Colonel? You sent us there. No one knew except you. I don't understand. Why do you have me here? Do you know Kotov? Do you know him? Who? Kotov. Roman Kotov. Director of RBC, Rus Business Company. You met with him today. That is why you were avoiding cameras. Nothing to say? Then I'll say it. Kotov, after killing Tomak's people, decided to get rid of his ideological brothers. And you agreed to help him in exchange for a quiet, peaceful life. I don't know anything. All right, Irina, I know that you know where Kotov is right now, so tell me. Or I'll do my best to turn you into a criminal and you will be imprisoned for a long time. With or without you, we will arrest Kotov. It's only a matter of time. And then, we will know everything. I don't think he wanted to help you at all. Isn't that right, Irina? Moskova Hotel, room 409. Kotov met Kudryash when he organized the murder of those who killed his wife. He introduced himself as a retired police colonel, and he proposed to punish those who escaped justice. But in reality, he used Kudryash for personal revenge and to get someone else's business for you. Thank you. To be honest, Paul, I feel sorry for them. They were a family. They've been used by those against whom they opposed. Well, about that. I don't know. It's all so complicated. What about Irina? I hear she is selling her business. She wants to leave forever. I see. Will you take the job in Moscow?
I will. Really? I understand. I will agree with the conclusion. I am a good journalist. So, I decided to stay here. So this means you're not taking the job? Mm. So I guess <laughs> we're gonna keep working together. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 